members of the House have started debating the 2023 budget statement, which uh, was delivered last week Thursday by Finance Minister Ken Oforiata. The members are today focusing on finance, agriculture, trade and industry. And uh, we know that um, the Minority Leader Harun Idris a few moments ago was addressing the floor. And uh, we can also see the Speaker of the House. Uh, Alban Bagbin, who was very supportive of the activities of the Black Stars far away in Qatar. But uh, back in Parliament, it looks as though it's going to be a very interesting day on the floor. Uh, well, let's go and listen live to some of the conversations on the floor. That document is different from what is presented on the floor. That document you refer to, which is prepared and laid before Parliament, is different from what they present to us on the floor. And when you go to Article 1797, states clearly, Parliament shall prescribe the procedure for the presentation of appropriation bills. You go to our standing orders, and standing order 140 is clear the budget shall be presented to the House by the minister responsible for finance. It's clear there, on behalf of and on the authority of the president, and in such form as the House may determine. So it's the minister for finance, the minister responsible for finance, who is by our procedure and rules to present the budget for and on behalf of the president. That is what is guiding us, and that is why when the minister could not present the budget, I think, is it last year? Yes. My very good friend, the majority leader himself, had to seek our permission to present it for and on behalf of the minister of finance. So it is not just the constitution, but our standing orders are very clear as to who should present the budget before the House. 